Damn, I'm looking good. Duke Nukem 2 is one of the best 2D side scrollers for the MS DOS machines. Sure, it's not as excellent as its bigger brother, Duke Nukem 3D, but on its own, it's actually pretty good. That being said, Duke Nukem 2 was only exclusive to DOS, meaning if you had a modern operating system like Windows XP, 7, 10, and 11, you had to resort to DOSBox. Definitely not a bad emulator for DOS games, but you would wish for something better. However, not all is lost for Duke fans such as myself, since there's a much better way to play this underrated gem, introducing the Rigel Engine. This project is aimed to reverse engineering and re-implementing Duke 2 to modern operating systems like Windows, Linux, and even Mac OS. It has tons of quality of life improvements that totally benefits this game, which I'll talk about it later. Today, I'm gonna guide you on how to run Duke Nukem 2 on modern computers with this port. So let's begin, shall we? First off, we need to go to the GitHub of Rigel Engine and download the latest version of the port and then extract these files to any location that you want. Now, obviously you need the game data of Duke 2 in order to run this fan-made port, but how do we get this game? Unfortunately, this game alongside Duke 1 used to be on Steam and GOG, but sadly due to some greasy circumstances, these games were delisted like 10 years ago and to this day they haven't been re-released on those stores. Now, if you own these games on Steam or GOG before the day they got delisted from these stores, you can still download them. Now, for those who haven't bought the game yet, there's another store named Zoom. No, not that one. This one. Not only has Duke 2 available to buy, but also Duke 1, Manhattan Project, and Duke 3D and its expansion packs, and the game is only 4 euros, which is really worth it. However, if you're a total cheapstake, you can either download the shareware version of Duke 2 or just sail the 7 seas if you really want to challenge yourself to get that full version without wasting a penny. That said, no matter what kind of method you did to get this game, after installing it, just copy the necessary game data to the folder of Rigel Engine Once it's done, just run the app and you're good to go. I am back. One of the biggest additions of the Rigel engine is the fact that it has widescreen and 60 frames per second support, which is in my opinion a huge game changer for me. Because here's the thing, the original version of Duke 2 ran at 15 frames per second, which nowadays is dreadful to play. The 60 frames per second option is a godsend, the game logic is still 15 frames per second, but thanks to interpolation it makes the game much smoother. As for the widescreen mode, it's actually really good, since it also helps you see enemies that you couldn't see when you played this game at its original aspect ratio, making the game a bit easier. And there are many other improvements as well, such as quick saving, quick loading, multiple sound effects can be played at the same time, which was a limitation to the original version of the game. You can adjust the sound and music, changing display settings, menus are much more responsive, better control support, controllers like DualShock 4, DualSense, Xbox, and even the Switch Pro controller are supported right out of the box without any configuration whatsoever. In addition to those quality of life improvements, the port also removes limitations of the game, like removing the limits of particle effects, effect sprites, shots, number of enemies, explosions, objects, etc. While they may seem like these limitations are purely visual, they may affect the game to some extent. 
As for bugs, some of them were fixed, like the Apogee logo movie playing forever until something is pressed, the game could crash in some levels when playing on harder difficulties, placing a blue guard enemy in the air would cause a soft lock on the game, you name it. All of these bugs mentioned were fixed, but not all of them were fixed in order to keep the experience as close to the original as possible. I know this isn't related to Rigel Engine, but when Duke 2 was released on Steam, Duke Sprites had sunglasses in it, but for some reason, when I re-downloaded the game on Steam this year, the sunglasses weren't there anymore. I remember back when I bought the game on Steam when I was a kid, it had the sunglasses, and it kinda sucks that they removed it. No worries though, since there's a mod that restores the sunglasses, and in my opinion, it looks great. And though I don't have anything against people like Duke without sunglasses in Duke 2, I personally prefer the sunglasses mod. It makes it look like a badass just like in Duke Nukem 3D. The mod is in the description below if you want to download it. Like I said earlier, the Rigel engine supports Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Since the Steam Deck has an OS that is part of the Linux universe, that being Steam OS, which is based on Arch Linux, then you should have no issues playing Duke 2 on the deck. Installing Rigel engine on the deck is super easy. Switch to desktop mode, then access to the Discover Software Center and install Rigel Engine. Then launch the app, you will get an error message saying that there is file missing, telling you the directory to put these files in order to function properly. There are a few ways you can get the data files from the game, either getting them from a USB stick or an SD card, but you can also use WinSSP if you have installed and set up. After getting the important data files of the game and put in that quote-unquote directory, Open Steam while you're in desktop mode and add Rigel Engine from the list as a non-Steam game. Then return to gaming mode and if everything is alright, then congratulations, you've got Rigel Engine working perfectly on the Steam Deck and you're ready to kick some ass and chew some bubblegum. And there you have it. I hope that this tutorial helped you on how to play Duke 2 on modern systems and a huge thanks to Lethal Guitar from the creation of this port. Thank you so much and if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button for more content and as all folks, see you next time.